Hello everybody and welcome back to Cobblers Vlogs where today we are previewing tomorrow afternoon's match between Oldham Athletic and the Cobblers. It's going to be an interesting one, one side that's in form, one side that's out of form. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. So what we're waiting for, let's get into this preview. Okay, so looking at the recent form, Oldham are currently sat in 19th position in the table, having played 16 games, winning 3, drawing 6, losing 7, sat on 15 points, as I said, in 19th place. In contrast, the Cobblers are in 8th uh, place with 16 games, 7 wins, 3 draws, 6 defeats, um, 24 points, uh, 3 points outside the playoffs, uh, Newport County in 7th uh, is who the Cobblers are chasing at the minute. Looking at Oldham's last 3 results then. Last time out, it was a nil-nil draw, uh, as Reese is about to say, against Port Vale. Um, before that, they beat uh, Walsall 2-0 at home. Walsall had a red card in that match as well. Uh, and then the week before that, a very disappointing loss for them against Macclesfield. Of course, the Cobblers lost to Macclesfield as well. Um, so, no disrespect to them. You can see how frustrating that can be. Um, looking at the Cobblers, as I said, 8th place, doing alright this season so far. Um, Last time out for the Cobblers, it was that 2-0 win against Cambridge United. The game before that uh, was a midweek away trip to Carlisle, uh, a 2-0 win again. And then the week before that, we played Salford City at home. And you guessed it, a 2-0 win again. Uh, so three back-to-back 2-0 wins for the Cobblers. Uh, so it's been pretty decent. Uh, a good week for the Cobblers. Three wins, all of them 2-0. Six goals, clean sheets, six points. Nine points, sorry. Uh, so it's what you like to see, really. Um... And of course, we take on Oldham next time out. So it's going to be an interesting one. Um, hopefully, the Cobblers can get the three points there. So yeah, the danger men for the Cobblers. Uh, Harry Smith was obviously involved in both goals against Cambridge. Just scored the first one and pretty much set up the own goal for the second one. Um, Got the likes of Hoskins, who's been good recently. The midfield have been brilliant. Uh, McCormack's been fantastic. Uh, got that new chance as well. Charlie Good and Jordan Turnbull have been solid at the back for the Cobblers as well. Uh, three back-to-back -back clean sheets as well. Cornell, the keeper, uh, hasn't really been too much to do because Good and Turnbull have been sorting everything out for him. Um, looking at Oldham, I am on their uh, squad website. Um, so I'm just going to pick out players that I recognise and know uh, that could be a threat for us. Um, so apologies if any of them don't play for Oldham or anything like that, because sometimes the club's websites can be out of date. Um, so we're looking at the back, the centre-back, David Wheater, big Wheats, as, uh, as, as, as I think they call him up there. Um, big, you know, proper League 2 centre-back, what you need, um, and he'll be probably captain in the side. I've got here that Philippe Murray plays for Oldham, um, if that's true. Massive danger man, I think, in my opinion, he might be injured or something because in a minute Reese previews it and he doesn't really, he doesn't mention him at all. Uh, you got the likes of Mohamed Moosh as well, um, Missalou as well, the uh, the forward, uh, he can be a threat. Scott Wilson, Callum Wilson's brother, uh, of course, as well plays for Oldham. So there's a lot of threats uh, that can come uh, the Cobblers way, but hopefully our back line is good enough to deal with them. Right, hello to the viewers and subscribers of Matt's channel, uh, Cobblers Vlogs. Yeah, before I get into how I think Oldham season's gone so far, the score prediction and the key players, make sure if you haven't subscribed to Matt's channel already, make sure you do it right now, I'll give you five seconds. And yeah, make sure you like the video whilst you're down there, that'd be absolutely great. I'm sure you've seen me here before, I've been here countless of times. Uh, Matt's 2017 subscriber of the year, one of my very proud accomplishments in my life and also can you beat me champion from 2018 I beat him 9-0 so sorry to remind you on that one Matt but yeah how Oldham season's gone so far not brilliant it hasn't gone the way well we didn't expect we'd be absolutely flying but we'd expect we'd be somewhat up there now we're on our second manager already which obviously isn't great and he hasn't got the team that he wants so He's got to work with it until January. So we're on the up. We're doing better than we did under Warren Benayed. But he hasn't got his team yet. So I won't be expecting much. But how it's gone for the first you know, 10, 15 games, very poorly. Not up to our expectations. But yeah, my score prediction, I'm going to be optimistic. We've been playing really well in recent weeks. I'm going to go for a one all. Now, you might think, Reese, optimistic, one all. Yeah. Northampton are doing pretty well at the moment, and we're not. So, I'll take a draw, 
Um, I'd bite someone's hand off for a draw at the moment. Um, anything I'd take from this game, especially after a nil-nil away at Port Vale last week. So coming up against a side like Northampton, who in my week two predictions video said are going to finish like I think it was third. I said I'll take a point now. But but yeah, the key players on our team. You've got to look at David Wheater, experienced defender. Uh, our winger slash striker Johnny Smith, absolutely dangerous. Uh, we've got a few. We got a handful of uh, key players. Um, but yeah, you'll just have to look out for him. So I'll give you a name. Uh, I'll give you a few names. We've got David Wheater, Johnny Smith, Jamie Stott, Tom Hamer, Chris Missley. They're our like, main players. So what, look out for them. Um, but yeah, Nicky Adams for Northampton. I think he's playing. Absolutely great player. I'm sure Smith will be playing as well. I would have loved to see him at Oldham. But yeah, we need we need some sort of target man. I would have loved to see him at Boundary Park. But yeah, they're the key players I think for Northampton. It's always nice meeting Matt or being on his channel. So yeah, thanks for having me on pal. And I'll see you all later. So that was yeah, Reese Parsons, Oldham vlogger. Massive thank you to Reese for coming on the channel. Always welcome here on Cobblers Vlogs. Um, so yeah, my score prediction, I'd expect, I'd hope that the Cobblers are going to get a 1-0 win. Looking at the conditions, it's going to be windy, it's going to be rainy, it's going to be cold. So hopefully the Cobblers can sort of just, you know, get their way through, grind out a 1-0 win, and hopefully Newport lose and we can take their playoff position. So yeah, once again, thanks to Reese for coming onto the channel. Make sure you do subscribe to Reese. Fantastic YouTube. I will leave his links down in the description. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Drop a like if you have enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.